Casper is the sponsor of this edition of Mac Voices. I want you to discover what I already know. Casper's combination of latex foam and memory foam will give you the best night's sleep you've ever had. American made, delivered to your door for free, and with a 100 day trial period, it's the best mattress buying experience you'll ever have and the best mattress you'll ever have. Go to casper.com slash macvoices now to get yours and use the code macvoices to save $50 off your choice of a king, queen, double, or full-size Casper. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. Mac Voices is in San Francisco for WWDC and the Alt Conference. I'm here with Kendall, uh, the volunteer coordinator for Alt Conference, uh, to talk about everything that he does both for Alt Conference and elsewhere. Kendall, it's good to see you again. It's nice to see you again, too. How many years have you been doing this? Uh, I've been doing Alt for about uh, four years now as the volunteer coordinator. So I was going to say, you're the guy that wrangles everybody and makes it, all, uh, makes it all go smoothly. Well, I help it to go smoothly. Many other people are involved in actually making it go smoothly. I just try and be where I can to help smooth things out extra. It always kind of amazes me the number of people that you have who come and just give up so much time. Mm-hmm. And, you know, they're sitting in the lobby here um, at the Metreon, you know, guiding people in or they get up early to make sure that they can get into the Metreon. It's it's, it's just a, a great tribute, I think, to the spirit of Alcon. It, it really is. And actually, I mean, that's great because if you think about it, almost all of our volunteers are also, you know, other professional developers or professionals in whatever fields. And so it is really a pretty big burden. You know, it's a good gift for them to give up this time. Uh, all of them are busy, especially during WWC week. They have many other people to meet with. So it's great that every that so many people are willing to give up this time to help us out. I mean, and I, I do that. I mean, all of our volunteers are like that. So, and, and, of course, they come and say, I'm going to volunteer, and they're doing it for a couple shifts or maybe a few days. But you're putting it all together. And so you're not just arriving here and, and giving up a couple hours. You've got to give a lot, of, a lot of time to it. That's true. I do put in a bit extra. I, I'm actually giving up a whole week, essentially, of time for this. But... But there's other volunteers that give up some, like many days, like like maybe two or three days actually. So it's not like that much extra beyond even what some other people do. But the, the yeah the core volunteer group especially they are giving up like quite a bit to come out here and help put this together. But all of us really just uh, really like AltConf and kind of the spirit behind it of kind of giving back to the community, which has really helped us learn so well over the years and so quickly. And it's so cool t- when you're here because you see some of the Dub Dub 16 jackets mm-hmm. come here to this conference. So you know they could be over there, right. but they're opting to spend at least some time over here. Yes, that, that is the kind of a cool thing is we have some great speakers from all around and they do a great job at uh, getting together interesting talks and really talks that complement WWC. That's, that's what I like about AllConf is I feel like it's very complimentary. WWC is covering a lot of technical stuff, sometimes basic, sometimes a little more advanced. But AllConf is going off into maybe more practical aspects or just very experienced people in using some of the frameworks and the other things that Apple's developed with. And so we do have a good alternative if maybe there's not as much going on during WWDC that someone is currently wanting to see. They have a good option here for other spe- other talks that might be more pertinent or more interesting. So, And it strikes me, I've had a number of conversations here, and, and the same old word keeps coming up that I used to love about Macworld, that I still love about other conferences, and that's community. There is really a developer's community here, and this is a, a developer's community conference. Right, yeah, th- that's very true. I see actually a number of the people that come here, I see them at other conferences too, around the area, especially the speakers. You know, they like to go around and speak at a lot of different conferences, and I go to some myself. Um, but yeah, it's great because there's this great community of iOS developers, and they're all like great people, really friendly, and just really interested in learning. So they're all very accommodating and, and also helpful in their own way with helping put on the conference too so okay so we know you spend a lot of time putting the helping put this together and make it run but what do you do all the other weeks of the year what uh, as far as being a developer uh, sure the rest of the time I have my own business Kiki software I'm an independent iOS consultant and I just kind of help companies do uh, different development actually through uh, just either small companies where I help sometimes work as a subcontractor for other consulting companies building larger applications and uh, so I just do a wide variety of basically business kind of applications not so much games but more uh, sort of just user focused uh, productivity and business kinds of things so if i'm if i have a company and i'm looking to have a custom app built for myself do i call you uh, sure, yeah, that's one option because I do uh, work with other people. Like I know some designers and some other developers and we can kind of get together and build something. Or uh, just for really small companies too, I just sometimes work on projects uh, just by myself for other helping 
companies build up applications. Um, but I, well, kind of a wide range. And I also work within teams and companies too. Uh, right now I have a corporate client that I'm part of a small team that they have as just a contractor to help them out. But I've been with them actually doing that for a year or two. So. So you're kind of a hired gun almost. Yes, that exactly. You, you, can, you can take the lead or you can help fill in the back end. Yep, I uh, do that and then also do some corporate training and a little bit of stuff. But, uh, but basically, yeah, and I'm especially, I've done a lot of troubleshooting and I used to speak a lot on debugging in Xcode so I can also help companies with problems that they encounter, uh, kind of thorny issues that they just can't work out. I come in and sort of help them get through. So, What's happening with business right now in the, on the app front? It seems like it's almost becoming a requirement that your business has an app. If you if you're in anything other than maybe a restaurant business, even there sometimes you need an app. Uh, is that a fair perception? Uh, yeah, I think that's true. I mean, that's definitely a lot of small companies come to me now, like asking, and sometimes I try and work with them at first to say, you know, does it even make sense to have an app? Because a lot of people do have that impression that all businesses need an app. I'm not quite sure we're at that point yet. Is it does kind of seem that way, um, but just not all app ideas are necessarily uh, fully thought out or, or really useful to people. And so I help them actually work through if they even need an app to start with before we even start doing anything, because that's not always the case. But it is true that there's a lot of companies, even now, that could still use applications and uh, they just need a lot of help because they just don't even understand where to begin. So that's that's another issue. We've seen the, the smartphones, whatever flavor, but obviously, here we prefer iPhones, um, but they've become such a common part of everyone's arsenal that it's a shame that they, they don't have apps to take advantage of things. And I don't necessarily mean to promote their business, but even just to help to run their business. Uh, yeah, that's true. I, I mean, yeah, and there's lots of different ways an app can be useful because the, some of the applications I work for are kind of internally focused to help them kind of manage a business, and other ones are more uh, consumer or user facing to help them get you know get things out of customers or it, just be closer to them. Um, so there there are actually a lot of different ways in which apps can be useful to companies too, and that's another thing that c the companies uh, just don't really think through at first is that you know they just want an app to have an app but there's really lots of different ways in which an app might help them and they should be thoughtful about which ways that could actually help either them or the consumer or the customers that they have so do you see do you perceive any trends in what people come and say hey Kendall I, I'd like your thoughts on this uh, other than just you know I, I need to be talking about an app um, I mean definitely a lot of people are looking for uh, kind of customer relationship kind of things that are just, like I said, kind of said before, they're looking to get closer to the customers that they have and just make things easier to get information back and forth between the company and the customer. That's a lot of what I'm working on currently. And uh, so it's really kind of connectivity between the really business or just anyone. Just It's more a closer connection between two groups of people, I'd say, almost. It's kind of like the common theme is that everyone wants... Um, some kind of personalization or just ways that uh, really really help connect other other people. It's all about the communication and the connection. Right, exactly, yeah. So in, in the end, I mean, that's what they're all trying to do is just get closer and more helpful and just keep everything streamlined. So, Where are you based? I'm based in Denver, Colorado. Okay, so yeah, that, that's the other interesting thing about AltConf is everybody is everywhere and they just kind of converge in San Francisco to put it on. That's true, yep. There are people from all over. Organizers actually come for a, internationally as well as just around the U.S. too. So yeah, people and the attendees also are from all over. So, <laughs> are, are most of your clients Denver-based or do you R have currently a... Currently they're all Denver-based, but I have worked also with other clients that have been remote in other areas. So, uh, The website where folks can learn more about what you do. Uh, currently, uh, just uh, kigisoftware.com, K-I-G-I software.com. Uh, so that's it. Thank you so much, Kendall. It's good to see you again, and, and keep doing what you're doing here at AltConf. All right, great. Thanks. It's very much. It was great to talk to you again. So, Folks, I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. We'll have more from AltConf and WWDC in San Francisco. Thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for show notes, links to subscribe, and to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, SoundCloud, the Mac Voices blog, the Mac Voices Dispatch, our weekly newsletter, and on Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard that helps you do more with your Apple tech. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.